What's good, sneaker fan? Welcome back to our sneakers. Before I start, I do want to say that I'm raffling off this shoe for a dollar a ticket. It is a size seven and a half, and there's a total of 300 entries, but right now there's only 30 entries in. So go ahead down in the description below if you want to join. Click on Jordan 1 Raffle, there's a link right next to it, and it'll take you to the link where you can buy the ticket. And you guys are probably wondering right now, why am I wearing the same clothes for the past three videos? The reason is because I'm leaving town on the 15th, and I won't get back till the 18th, so I figured I'd knock all these videos out on the 14th. Well, anyways, we are approaching the winter season. It is approaching soon. I think it starts in December or January. I'm not exactly sure, but it is approaching soon. So I didn't want to talk to you guys about the top five shoes that I think you guys should be wearing this winter. And to start off, we should be wearing the Skate Highs. To be honest, if you're in the snow, you shouldn't be wearing leather just because if the leather gets wet, it's going to smell, it's going to crinkle up, it's going to get nasty. So this won't be the best option for you in the snow. But if you are in the snow, you could get these. They might get a little wet, but if you're careful enough, they won't. All I know is that I went to New York at the beginning of this year and it was snowing and I took these with me because it was only the high top shoe that I had. And they weren't too bad, but the only downside to these shoes are that they are not that comfortable, so that's why they're not my go-to. But if you want to have that stylish look, you could go to these. Next up on the list, I do have my Jordan 1. I do like to look stylish in the winter, especially since you can wear jackets. You, wear, you can wear a lot more clothing and a Jordan 1 is pretty stylish, especially this colorway in particular. The reason I chose this shoe is because it is a high top. It is going to keep your feet warm all the way up to your ankles. And usually with high top shoes, I like to wear long socks, so it does keep more warmth on your foot. And it looks better with the shoe if you're going to wear more shorts. But in the winter, we're not wearing shorts, we're wearing pants. So, therefore, that's why this is my second choice. At least here in South Florida, this wouldn't be a bad choice for the winter because it does get cold, but it doesn't snow. So, But up north where it's snowing, it might be a little harder to wear these. Third up on the list, I do have the Jordan 11. And the reason I chose this one is because... Again, it is a high top shoe, it's going to keep your foot warm, I would wear long socks with it, and that will keep your foot warm as well. And also I feel like this would be good for snow or no snow just because the patent leather, if it does get wet, it doesn't really get messed up, at least I don't think it does. But for the most part, you shouldn't be walking in snow that's going past your ankle, unless you're in a really bad place, but at that point, you probably wouldn't be going outside. I mean, I don't know, I never lived in snow, so I can't really talk more, much of that, but I know down here in South Florida, this wouldn't be a bad choice. Plus it is a stylish shoe and it just came out and it is a Space Jam, so. Next up on the list, I think I did put this on my top five spring shoes, is the Tubular Dooms. And most preferably, I would choose this one over this one just because this one's fully prime knit. And if you're in the snow again, this will get wet because it is prime knit. The snow will seep right through and get this shoe wet. But this one on the other end, you do have like this plastic cap right here on the toe. I don't even know what you call this material exactly, but it will prevent the toe area from getting wet. And also it is a high top shoe, so it will keep you cozy. And especially as a sock like material that stays tight around your ankle. And usually that keeps it warm as well. Last but not least, my fifth choice, which is actually my number one. So I kind of did this backwards, I think. I don't even know. But this would be my number one choice. It is the Yeezy 750 Boost. Colorway doesn't really matter. I personally like the gum bottom the best. And that would be a number one pick just because it is a thick kind of material for the most part. Not too thick, but not too thin, but it is a good thickness. So it will keep your foot warm. You could zip it down, you could zip it up. It is a very stylish shoe. It does have boost in it, so it is a very comfortable shoe as well. So that's why it's my number one pick because you do have comfort, you do have warmth, and you do have style all in one. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it did help, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, let me know what shoes you guys will be rocking this winter. I am interested to know because I don't have many, but I do have some shoes for the winter since it is South Florida. It doesn't get too cold down here, so I would like to know mostly from you people up north if you watch my channel what you guys are wearing this winter. Also, make sure you do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We are trying to get to 2,000 by the end of this year. And if you are subscribed to my channel but you aren't getting notifications... Alright, so let's say this is my video. It's going to say our sneakers up here and it's going to show my picture. Go ahead and click on this little bell right here. And then when to turn notifications on, just click this and click save. Make sure you stay woke. It's your bar sneaker sign out. Peace.